Welcome to the Search Strategies for Literature Review tutorial series. The goals of this tutorial series are to provide context for literature reviews that you will be undertaking as you continue your undergraduate and graduate programs. We'll address the foundational skills of accessing information using effective, well-designed search strategies and the most appropriate information sources. We'll focus on search strategies that will guide you to recognize the development of scholarly research on your topic or in your field. More specifically, we'll practice the author search, backward search, and forward search. Writing a literature review is an inevitable part of being a student, scholar, or researcher, so before spending hours of time searching the literature, it helps to understand what a literature review is and why it's important. You may have to do a lit review as part of a course assignment, or perhaps as a capstone project, or later on as part of a master's thesis or dissertation. No matter the context, a lit review is an essential part of the research process. The process of researching and reviewing the literature helps you to understand the topic and to develop your own perspective based on solid information. It lets you show your instructor what you know about a topic, but more importantly, it helps you understand the foundations for evidence-based practice in your field. Understanding the literature provides background that supports why practitioners work with their clients in a particular way. It also provides background for why certain standards for practice are in place. Let's start our focus on search strategies with the author search. In your first assignment, you began exploring key journals and associations that support research in the field of child language development. As you browsed articles, you may have come across one that particularly caught your attention. In this case, I found Early Word Object Associations in Later Language Development. This article is spot on my topic. So I decided to find out whether one or more of these authors have published other research on the same or a similar topic. When multiple authors are listed, the order doesn't always mean much. Authors may be listed alphabetically and may have contributed equally to the research and writing. The first author may be the primary author of the paper, in which case the additional authors may be research assistants or doctoral candidates. In other words, don't stop your research at the first author listed. She may not have extensive research experience behind her, but one of the other authors might. In this case, the three authors are university colleagues. And with a bit of research, I find that the last author, Janet Worker, has done extensive research in speech perception and infancy. With the collection of her research papers in hand, I can begin to get an idea of how active a researcher she is. And judging from the journals that accept her work for publication, such as First Language, I may begin to get an idea of the potential quality of her work. How can I do this efficiently, you might ask? Well, let's take a look. 